Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Sue's cracking, folks. I'm going to do a video today. I'm going to talk about, and this is still a situation regarding ISIS. I'm one of the first ones who broke ISIS as far as what they're about, who's funding them. I still think the government funded them. Like I said, if you look back, when we gave Syrian rebels 60 million, all of a sudden these guys pop up. It's, 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 it you don't have to be a rocket science to figure this one out. I'm stupid and I figured this one out. But I want to talk about the Battle for Gabani 2. Uh, as I said the first day, as you don't know, Gabani is in. Um, it's northern Syria with the, with the, with, with, on the border of Turkey. I think within 10 miles of Turkey. It's a city of 45,000 people. It's, a, it's considered a key strategic city from on both sides because if the, if the Kurds give you, if it, it's, it's basically Kurds, that Kurdistan area. Well, it could be the, like if the Kurds, it's basically Kurdistan, but in, in Syria. And ISIS is over in Turkey, which I don't know how they're over there, but we all probably know they probably greased a few pigs over there. And uh, they're taking, uh, but they're, they, they're, they're taking key sections of the city, but the rebels are fighting back, and I think the rebels are going to take it. Because uh, I think Turkey's coming in finally. I talked about this videos earlier. Um, it's right now. It's the uh, battles are day to day with skirmishes, with the Kurds either losing ground or gaining. It. But uh, with the Turkish president, you know, he uh, stating on Kobani, you know, he said in October it's about to fall. You know, it seems like you know he breathed new life in the ISIS fighters when he said that because you know, ISIS stepped their game up. That's when ISIS was on both sides of the borders fighting. You know. And then, like, we're like, America's like, oh, how the fuck is this happening? How the fuck are they fighting from Turkey, you know, and, and, and Turkey's just saying they don't want ISIS in there. See, this is what I tell you about Turkey. The problem with Turkey is Turkey can't stand the Kurds. And, like, and it's like ISIS, they really can't stand them, but at the same time, they can't stand the Kurds. So they're like, if you get rid of the Kurds, you know, Turkey's like, hey, as long as you get rid of the Kurds, don't mess up Turkey. It seems like they're letting go free reign here. But uh, now Turkey is talking a lot of popular Western uh, talk regarding regarding ISIS as far as how they've got to be stopped and all. You know these old rhetoric. Uh, but they aren't they aren't too keen with the Kurds. That's the problem. Because like I said, it, it, Turkey's looking at it as because they, they had it before. I don't know if it still is. And I told you this in the previous video. They will forbid or they, they forbid the Turkish Kurds living in Turkey to go down to Kobani to help their Syrian brothers and sisters uh, fight because if, say say like the Kurds win Kobani, which I would say they probably will by the time the video rolls out, and then they all get to get Turkey's worried about a big Kurdish uprising. They've been going through a civil war in that area for about 20 years, so Turkey's worried about Turkey's worried about that area. And Turkey's all about losing that land. Because you put all the Kurds together, and the Kurds are crazy. They're, 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 they're crazy. They're, they're, look, man, these guys will fight to the death. They, they got more heart than a lot of you people. You know, but, uh, but, but, you don't, he, I don't know. It's just, Turkey has covered, has, is, 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 is catering to groups, you know. One, you know, like I said, the only reason that we got to be over there because Turkey's a NATO partner, and they didn't really want us over there. If you look at, if you look at the whole shebang, Turkey didn't want us there, but we, we usually we're like, look, you're NATO, you want to fight the war on terrorism? We kind of put Turkey in a spot where they had to force their hand. Uh, they don't want, like I said, they just don't want a Kurdish uprising. I think that's the problem. If the Kurds unite, like the Turkish Kurds coming into Kobani. 
help the Syrian Kurds. I think what the Turkish afraid of, that could lead to a snowball effect where when it's going downhill, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, Son is like, well, hey, we can do this here. Let's go over to Turkey and start taking back some of the our land that was in Turkey, Turkey took. So that's another situation that's still still in the air. You know, so it's it's. I think I think Turkey's playing both. I, me personally, still, I think Turkey's playing both sides. But I think they'd rather get rid of the Kurds more than they would rather get rid of ISIS. So, enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know, that shit goes. Peace.